I would highly recommend you guys to not go into any interview without solving this question because it's a classical interview question and trust me binary search implementation is very hard to come up with if you haven't you know done that before when I was in my college in my sixth semester back in 2017 I came across this problem which I couldn't solve optimally and later when I saw the problem tag it said binary search and I'm like hey man this is definitely not happening this ain't happening how is this even possible this problem doesn't even involve a sorted array and how come this problem is a binary search problem Intrigued, I jumped into the solution of the problem and after reading the solution, my mind was completely blown away. Because so far our teachers in schools and colleges were talking about an input array which would be sorted and if you have to search in that sorted array, you have to use binary search. So when I went through that problem solution, I figured out that binary search is a lot lot more than that. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to talk about the different binary search patterns that will help you to crack interviews in product based and fang companies. Uh, again, as I said, I've segregated in this by research patterns into five types and I'm very sure if you're solving these problems for the first time, you would be amused as well, just as I was five years back. If you haven't go, uh, checked out my interval uh, problems uh, pattern video, go and check it out right now. The link will be in the description down below. Also, I would be coming up with more and more topics of DSA, but I would be telling you about the different types of patterns that exist for a particular topic and this is this is video is going to be about my research and again this video gets a very good response as I got for the interval problems I will make uh, the video on the next topic so do comment down below that which is the next topic you want uh, me to make a DSA pattern on again uh, clarifying a few things here there will be some topics where I can't make uh, videos like this because again these videos are primarily based on my experience of problem solving and Normally after solving a lot of problems and giving interviews, I figured out that these are the normally the type of patterns we exist. However, however, having said that, it also happens that in an interview, for instance, I can say for 95% of the product based companies, these patterns are going to be more than enough and you're going to get problems from these patterns only. But again, there are 5% of the companies like media.net, sometimes Google, Code Nation, they might give you a hard problem where basically you can't really map a particular problem to one particular pattern that, that will involve multiple patterns. It will require you to make an observation that, you know, this is a binary search problem. So such things will happen and then your problem solving skills will come to the fore. And also one more thing I like to point out is binary search is a lot about observations, right? As I said, it's, it's not as easy as it seems. So I read in some article where one person called binary search as the hardest easy algorithm, right? So its implementation is kind of uh, not that easy as the binary search algorithm looks like. We are going to see the common mistakes that normally happens during a binary search implementation. We're going to see all of that. I reiterate this once again, that 95% of the problems are going to be from this patterns only. But having said that, also improve your problem solving skills so that whenever you get a new problem, you're able to solve that problem using your problem solving skills in a real life interview. And actually going through these problems will also help you to build up your intuition, also help you to build up your problem solving skills. So don't just mug the problems, try to understand the intuition of the patterns, like why you're using that. This is the thing you have to understand and figure out. Now let's jump to the main part of this video and let's see the five patterns that I have figured out uh, while, problem, while solving binary search problems. So your binary search experience will start from type one. But basically I have like sorted a couple of problems which are very very easy problems like let's say you can see uh, finding the square root of a number this is a very easy problem and I, I think it's good for practice but it's not that asked in at least the fan companies maybe some medium companies might ask you this but again uh, the, not like I, I, I don't I won't expect that a fan company or a big product based company to ask you such easy questions however there are some questions which are very very uh, important like this question is very very important I mark this as important as well right. Uh, also, this is again a very important question and it's also a hard question. So uh, you can take out some time to solve this question. That is the median of two sorted errors. I'm very sure most of you have already come across this question and I would highly recommend you guys to not go into any interview without solving this question because it's a classical interview question and trust me, it's the binary search implementation is very hard to come up with if you haven't, you know, uh, done that before. So in an interview of 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes, where you would be given like one problem, 30 minutes, right, to solve normally, it would be very hard for you to come up with such solutions. So uh, definitely go and check out these classical problems because you're expected to solve these classical problems before you set for an interview, right? So this is a very, very important problem and it's a classical problem as well as it's a hard problem. I would recommend for this video, like I know there are a lot of resources but for me the best youtube tutorial that exists for this video is the tushar roy's video you can go and you can go and find it out on youtube like i personally followed that video and it really really helped me a lot and apart from that uh, there are a couple of easy problems like uh, to just to you know to get your binary search journey started and also give you a feel about binary search okay but again uh, i would say that a couple of uh, about bearing a couple of problems 
this these are not really important for interviews but the concepts are really really important for you to solve the problems that i would talk about in the subsequent types for example like type 3 and type 5 are the most important the most commonly asked we are actually going to see to that but again as i mentioned don't skip any type because these are really really important for building up your logical skills on binary search so now again type 2 is also about understanding it's again i i, I don't expect that you would be getting asked these questions in an interview but this is very very important for you to understand the basics like this will like strengthen your fundamentals on binary search right so that you, when you whenever you will be facing a medium or a hard problem you will be able to apply it for example implementing lower bound and upper bound functions in c++ on your own this is going to be very very important and most of the times in an interview if you are like just using lower bound or upper bound many a times the interviewer would ask you to implement that function or on your own and even if the interviewer doesn't ask you it's still uh, required for you to know these concepts because this would be very very important as you go along right because not every time you can directly use lower bound and upper bound there would be some modifications which you need to make and you can only make that when you know these concepts in and out again i have like uh, given out some problems and uh, for what you can do is this problems you can easily find out on the and any youtube tutorial a lot of resources so you don't even need to take any paid resources for learning this topic right because i'm bringing out everything under one roof for binary search like whatever i can find whatever according to my experience feel free to add anything if you want to if you want to add any new problem any new type feel free to add it down in comments and i will be more than happy to edit and update this sheet uh, for you guys again this sheet you would find in the description down below so so you can see what i've done over here is similar to the interval problems like i've segregated out different patterns like based on different types i have given some questions so that you know you you are, you are not solving like as i said in the previous video it's it's not always that you have to solve 500 600 questions it's more important to solve 500 600 quality questions and di on different types of patterns right the number of the questions is not very important what is important is the more the number of types of problems that you have solved that will increase your you know that will broaden your perspective about problem solving and these different algorithms and their usages so that is the purpose of making this uh, dsa patterns video and the video series right so again if you like this series don't forget to smash the like button and share it among your friends link to the uh, document uh, will be in the description down below so you can use it as revision notes as well let's say you have an interview scheduled and you want to like quickly revise the problems of binary search this will really help because there are not a lot of problems as i mentioned but this will just give you a you know a, like quick revision about the different types of problems that exist and let's see if you face a similar type of problem if not this problem itself then i am very sure you would be able to solve if you understood this problem right so that is the benefit of this not only you get to understand what are the different types of patterns i should solve also not only it broadens your perspective instead of the like rummaging to different problems and just randomly solving problems and also it will help you to re revise as well and that is where i feel this sheet is very beneficial now let's quickly jump out to the type 3 and this is a very very important type and actual questions are going to get asked uh, in the interviews from this type right and it is a very very important type. i can't emphasize more on these type of problems so basically you see that whenever there is a rotated or a bitonic array right and we need to search in the array right then we have to first find the peak element or or basically the element or or maybe the min element right uh, uh, or in, in case of a rotated array and then you have to search and basically if you find the pivot element you will find when you solve this problem it will be divided into two parts right so your search space uh, would be divided into two parts and you can then do binary search initially the array won't look like a sorted array right because the sorted array will be rotated or the bitonic array right but again uh, you can go to the problem you can solve it and you would understand again there are a lot of tutorial videos available on it kirti has made a good binary search playlist on one of her new channels you can go and check it out striver has some good resources on binary search as i mentioned tushar roy has it even kunal kushwa has it so go and check out uh, their playlist i am very sure you're going to get a lot of resources on these problems if you are unable to understand and that is the reason probably i won't make a video on it right i mean uh, the tutorials part um coming back all these problems that all these problems that i mentioned are very very important don't skip any problem and try to understand these problems thoroughly next comes type 4 this is a very very interesting type basically uh, there will be a matrix right or there will be a 2d space and that 2d space would be sorted in a row wise fashion as well as column wise fashion so it is a kind of interesting problem you, the binary search can't be directly applied you have to like find out the start position so you will start at the 0 n minus m minus 1 position you would figure out as you solve the problem this is a very very interesting problem one of my favorite types of problem two problems actually i have given on this particular pattern so go and check it out nothing much to talk about it you would understand once you figure it out uh and next the another very very important type and very very commonly asked questions i can't emphasize more on this this is minimizing the maximum whenever you see the problem entails you to find minimizing a maximum maximizing the minimum 
you have to you know understand that this is a binary search problem it doesn't really look like a binary search problem and that's where you can find kind of get amused if you haven't solved this type of problem the problem won't shout out to hey i'm a binary search problem you have to figure out you have to observe and i've given that is why that is the reason this is so important this is so important this type i have like pasted so many problems i pasted so many problems so that you solve more and more problems to gain more perspective on this type because this is very very important type type 3 and type 5 is very important but again type 1 and type 2 is important as well for you guys to understand the fundamentals of binary search problem solving as we say as we call it modified binary search uh, because it's not directly where you're able to apply the binary search algorithm you have to kind of do the small modifications uh, on it right and uh, this is this is where this is very important this problem type this problem type because again as i said it won't directly shout that hey i'm a binary search problem so what you can do is uh, normally in this type of problems we have a search space you have to observe the search space right we find out a search space where you want to do a binary search right and and based on that we get the mid and we take a decision whether you want to go left or right based on the problem statement again this is a very very important problem and if you are getting asked binary search question in interview it has to be between type 3 or type 5 but again type 1 and type 2 is very important for getting the fundamentals you might get asked type 4 as well because it is a very interesting type as well so you can go and check it out so these are primarily the five types that i have covered and mostly i find that problems are generally asked from here only on these five types there are a couple of problems obviously that will be a couple of problems where you can't really map to a particular type there you would be requiring observations also there would be some problems which will require binary search plus some other algorithm or some other data structure so these type of th things this type of problem solving skills will be generated once you solve these type of problems and your perspective on binary search kind of broadens but i think this is a great great place to start and get ready for the interviews right also, a couple of things to remember while finding mid, always use low plus high minus low by two because most of the most of our teachers and colleges used to teach us high plus low by two. So don't use this. This it will run into trouble. You can write down in comments why would you run with trouble with this? Okay, and I will be waiting for it. Also, normally, so normally binary search is done on arrays and not on linked list. So be careful on that. And also be very careful of TLE because while implementing the binary search. So if you write faulty code, if you're not adjusting a low and mid properly, right? Uh, then sometimes you get TLE. I've like faced it a couple of times while doing my research problems. So be very careful of it and don't panic, right? You have to take, adjust the low and mid accordingly. So that's primarily it for the video. If you have liked this video, if you think this pattern series is helpful, go and smash the like button, share it among your friends, share it on LinkedIn, share it on social media so that, you know, it benefits more and more audience. It benefits more and more aspirants. And it, it, it in turn will help really motivate me a lot to make similar videos. Uh, also don't forget to check out my graph playlist also don't forget to follow me on instagram and you can personally connect with me also don't forget to join my telegram group we are an active community of 25,000 subscribers over there and I, I help people with a lot of things apart from posting hiring updates whenever i come across any so that's it for the video guys you would find the link to this document in the description down below and i will see you in the next video till then stay safe and goodbye